Hi everyone, Drew here from Dublin. Looks like we got a good group here today. Welcome to Body Weight Burn. All right, I got the screen spotlighted on me. Let me know in the chat box if you need anything. We should be good to go ahead and get started. So let's start by standing up. We're gonna start by activating our upper back and loosening up the arms so the hands out in front of you. And you're gonna go out, pinch shoulder blades together, and then Go ahead and wrap your arms around yourself as much as you can. Follow this pattern here. Make sure that you're in control. We're not just swinging our arms out of control. We're opening, pinching the shoulder blades, warming up those throughout the shoulders. And then let's go with the arms out, one palm up, one palm down. And now we're going to rotate further throughout the shoulders. Three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna go into a staggered stance. So I want to put my right foot behind me, hands on top of your head. Go ahead and pull the knee up while you drive the elbow down or rotate the elbow down. And now switch legs. So the left foot behind and same thing. Three, two, one. We're going to go down on the ground and do a Spider Man lunge. Option of adding a rotation. So, out of a high plank position, hands underneath the shoulders. Up. I'm going to drive my foot forward. And then I'm going to go ahead and take that hand closest to the foot, open it up. Hold for a couple seconds, and now I'll switch. Open up, and switch. And switch one more time. And then I'm gonna go ahead and lie down on my back. We'll go into glute bridges. Let's just keep both feet flat on the ground. Knees back at about this angle here. Bridge up, use your glutes. And back down. Get a good pace going. We'll do a little higher up on this. Five, four, three, two. One, we're going to flip back over into a high plank. Either on your knees or on your toes, I want you to do five push-ups, then you're going to go into mountain climb. About 60% of the mountain climb. On your knees or on your toes, five push-ups. And go to your mountain climbers. Five, four, Three, two, one. Stand it up. Continuing to increase the intensity here of the warm up to get us ready. Feet together, hands to your side, jumping jack, or you're just stepping side to side while you do it. All right, feet underneath your hips. Squat down, jump up. Lower down slow, jump up. And then side to side, speed skater, jump or step into it, side to side. Three, two, one. All right, so that's our warm up. First round will be continue to be a progression of the warm up or continuation of it. So let's just work about 60 to 80 percent intensity through the first six exercises. We'll break and then I'll go ahead and give you some options going into round number two and three. All right, so first round is 30 seconds. Move number one is going to be squat jumps, just kind of like what we did, but 
we're going to increase the pace so the tempo doesn't have to be quite as slow going down. So we'll go down, come up. If you're not ready to jump yet, squat down low, come up with a little bit of speed on your toes. Okay, we got that for 30 seconds. Ready? Go. Ten seconds. And stop. Good. Move number two on the ground. We're going to go ahead and do mountain climbers. Just like we warmed up, they can still be about 60% intensity. Go out in that high plank position, mountain climbers. Hands on the ground, ready, go. On driving the knees, you can start to speed it up a little bit. And stop. All right, and then move number three. We'll stand back up. And another move we warmed up with jumping jacks, either stepping or jumping. We'll just keep them just like what you did in the warm up. 30 seconds here. Ready? And go. Come on, my toes. I'm quickly changing direction. Think about your motion of your shoulders, too. Try to get those hands up overhead. Almost there. Good, stop, three seconds on that. All right, we're gonna go into single leg work now. We're gonna work a curtsy lunge on one side, and then you'll switch when I say halfway. So a curtsy lunge is our side step, not here, diagonally. If that hurts your knee, then I want you to stick with a regular reverse lunge. That's a little easier in your knee. Have an option to hold weight if you have them nearby here too. All right, 30 seconds, go. I'm going to get in a nice rhythm. I'm going to really feel that glute push as I come back around. Go ahead and switch sides. Three, two, one. All right, let's go ahead. We're gonna head down on the ground. Get ready for some core here. All we're doing right now is a 30 second plank hold. Low plank hold, you need to be active with your abs and your glutes. Squeeze both to get a nice straight line. Make sure you're breathing. So low plank hold. Ready, go. Active with the abs and the glutes. So active that you're shaking. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. And we're going ahead. We're standing back up. And then we'll go back into legs now for some more cardio with the squat shuffle. We're moving side to side. You can step with it, you can jump, it'll look the same either way. Step, transition over to the other side. Okay, we'll go ahead and get in place. Three, two, one, let's go. We started this round about 60%, we'll try to finish about 80%.
And we'll have some progressions coming up in the next round. And stop right there. All right, there's our first round. Good start. Go ahead and get some water. We'll get going again in about one minute. Line runners coming up in 40 seconds now. We got 10 extra seconds. And then the majority of our moves here, I'm gonna give you some progression. You'll have the choice to do exactly what you did in round number one, or you can increase the intensity by showing what I, what I give you as an option. All right. So move number one is the squat jumps. What we're going to mix in here is the squat thrusters, continuous ones on the ground, and then moving up into a squat jump. So I'll show you what that's going to look like. And if you don't want to do any squat thrusters, you don't just do squats or squat jumps again. Let's follow a pattern of three squat thrusters, six squat jumps. So out of a high plank position, pull those feet up towards your hands. One. Now, number three, catch myself. I'm in position to squat jump. I'm going to do this six times, or six, and then I'm going back down and repeating. All right, so those are the numbers I want to follow. You can mess around with them if you want to. Three squat thrusters. Make sure you're in position. Come up right in the squat six times. Three six ratio. Let's get down on the ground and get ready to go. Or you're standing and just doing squats or squat jumps. Set, go. And sit down. Walk down low, get those hands on the ground and repeat. Ten seconds left, try to get in another round. Oh, you got it and stop all right excellent so that was a combo there there'll be another combo as we head down to the ground mountain climbers i'm going to mix in spider-man lunges yes so that's a little bit more helpful but we're going to apply it as like some cardio and core so we get the mountain climbers let's follow on this mountain climbers are 16 total. And here, okay, there's 14, 15, 16, and then you'll go eight Spider Man lunges. One, two, three, all the way to eight. Back to 16. You can see the difference. I'm inside pulling these in. Now I'm driving up to the outside. All right, again, change numbers up if you want to. Get from one move to the other. 16 mountain climbers, eight Spider Man. Three. Two, one, go. Spider-Man challenge at range, drive the foot up. You're strong on that plank. If you need to, just hold the plank. Don't give up now. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, good. Bring it up. All right, heart rate's definitely up. A lot of cardio in this one. With that, we're going to work our jumping jacks. The option to mix in more explosive movement and call it a plyo jack. So with the jumping jacks, Giving you another pattern to follow. I'll do a pattern of six jumping jacks, three plyo jacks. So four, five, six plyo jacks here. One, two, three. And I catch myself, I'm back into this. And of course, you have the option to do what you did in round number one. 
All right, so we've got our combo of two jumping jacks, three plyo jack. Three, two, one. Them down low, load, load. I just want to really focus on my form. Okay, pause. Make sure my form is locked in. Less than 10. And stop. All right. Fast pace for those first three. Slow down a little bit on the curtsy lines. It's going to be more strength focus. If you really feel like you can, you can take your curtsy into a hop. Okay. But if not, slow it down, focus on the hip, grab some dumbbells. I'll let you know this quick. Same thing. Ready? Go. Like you're absolutely killing it so far, go ahead and add in the top. If you not want a little bit of a breather, focus on the glute. Getting good effective work out here. Good legs. Less than 10 seconds. A couple more reps on this leg. And stop. All right, so that gives our heart rate a little recovery depending on what you did. Mine should be the same thing here of, as far as recovery goes, cardio. I am gonna cue you. So if you just do a low plank the first time, if you wanna follow along with me, I'm gonna cue you. I'm going from a low plank to a high plank on your hands. We'll work in some shoulder taps. Let's go back down low and hold. Five. You have a choice to hold the plank at any time. You gotta drop in your knees, stay in the gate, reach down. All right, you ready? Low plank to start, step two. Reach down. Keep them active. Plank one hand, come up high. Shoulder tap. Might have to widen out your base of the feet. Keep the hips toward the ground as possible. Back down on the ground for me. 10 seconds after hold. Three, two, one. All right. All right. Thanks had a little bit of recovery here, especially that heart rate did after the first three minutes. We'll ramp it up to finish off this round strong. We are squat chuckles. So all I'm adding into this is pulse. This one, another combo, a little easier to count. You do three shuffles, three pulses, but one, two, three, stepping and jumping, and then three, two, three, and then continue. My next pulse is on the other side, three times. There's your pattern. All right, let's get ready and start. For that tension of legs and the pulse, that's a good thing. That's right where I want you to be at. Remember, jumping with it, you can still keep the whole weight up at your chest. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, our second round is done with. Water. All the work you just put in that round sets us up for our next round, our most important round where you're going to get results. Okay? You've done a good job at this point. You got to keep your foot on the gas going as hard as you can. We got 10 more seconds added. Those six moves will remain the same as round number two. You know your options. If you feel form start breaking down in the middle of it, back it off and go back to the regressed version of Round number one. 
So about 20 more seconds, then we're going to move number one. That was our squat thruster. Three times, plant those feet underneath your hips and jump up to this big squat jumps. All right, so we've got that squat here. Get that last sip of water in, start to head down on the ground. All right, let's have some fun together. This is our last time with these six moves. Keep the energy up, keep challenging yourself. Plant those hands on the ground in three, two, one, let's go. Squat thruster three. That last round was any indication. We're going to get through these first three moves. And our heart rate's going to be up there. We're cranking up that metabolism here. With the work you put in now. We got probably three or four rounds in last time. We got 15 more seconds. We'll be approaching one more round. Stop. Got it done. Cross that one off the list. I feel that heart rate. Couple deep breaths. Into move number two. Feet down on the ground. Mount Climber, Spider Man lunges. Race on this. 16 climbers total, 8 Spider Man lunges total. Feel that difference in core activating with each move. There's no giving up. You hit the feet on those, you're holding a plank. Three, two, one, let's go. Five versus square man. Eight into eight. Be ready for the last 10 seconds. You're going to sprint. Wherever you're at, you're going to sprint. That's probably part off right now in this plank position. You can do it though. Now to believe. That's why you're here. Keep fighting. 15 seconds left. Whatever you're in, sprint it. Sprint climber. Sprint Spider Man. Go to the end. Three, two, one. Standing. All right. Oh, circuit here of these back, back three cardio moves. Got the jacks. Jack, six, file jack, three. Play around with numbers. Challenge yourself. Make it your own. Get ready. Go. You've done it one to 40 seconds. Handle it under Finding that good form, 20 seconds left. One and a half to more. Five, four, three, two, one. Get down. Okay. Give you a little bit of extra time to get the heart rate down. Three lunges next. Think about how you're doing them, weighted, body weight, jumping. Okay, get in place. Let's do it. First lunge. Three, two, one. No matter what variation you're doing, push with that hip of that front leg. Switch.
the end on this one. We're down on the ground next. The heart rate's probably starting to come down a bit. Off of our first three, five seconds. It. On the ground we go. Our plank combo, all on my cue, low plank, super active on it. High plank, on my cue. Okay, three, two, one, go. Low plank. High plank, shoulder taps. Right up the feet again if you need to. Plant that hand underneath your shoulder. Stay stable. No plank. But we're going back up high. High plank. We're almost there, guys. 10 seconds of grind. Go back down low, squeeze it again. Three, two, one. All right, that one felt good. Felt good to back off the legs a little bit. Challenge the upper body in the core. Gonna feel good now to get the squat shuffles one more time. Pattern, squat shuffle, three pulse. 50 seconds and we're done with the main portion of today's class. Ready, go. Feeling good and strong here. Tension on the legs and those pulses. Grip the ground with your feet, keep your glutes on. Fifteen seconds. Whatever you can do, if there's a way to increase the intensity, you're jumping stronger, you're getting down lower, do it right now. Five. Four, three, two, one. Excellent. I'm going to check them off the list. Nice job. Be proud of what you've done so far, but you got four more minutes. And so we can call it a day on this. Get some water. The bottom's coming up. Four minutes bottom. Six moves. Or, sorry, four moves. 20 seconds. So think about that. If you can stay 50 seconds, 100% intensity, you're going to be able to kill it on these 20 seconds. Going all out. Two rounds on each move. So I'm going to just take it one move at a time. That first move, you have an option of doing your regular speed skater like we warmed up on. All right, so some people feel comfortable with this. More. Variation, it would be more challenging, but just different single leg. So, with that, I think of here's my support leg, here's my right leg supporting me. I'm gonna skate across, reach down, and come back to my support leg. So, if you're doing that in round one, we'll do one leg, I'll be going, round two, we'll switch. If you're not doing that, you're going back and forth. You don't have to worry about what side you're on. That's move number one. Follow along with me on the single leg. So, I'm balancing on my right leg, I'll reach down to my left. Oh, better set our, reset my timer. We're doing like 50 seconds. 20 seconds. Ready? Go. Down across to the left. Back on my right. There should be a lot of power into this. Drive that knee up. Pull the knee out. And stop right there. Good. Second move. Keep it real simple by doing a wood chop. Ideally with some type of hop with it, but you can all the way with this. I'm just showing body weight. That's a basic wood chop. You can do that with the weight. But if you're gonna hop here, hands off, the arms on the other side, hands off. If you do a quarter turn, you can do a big 180 turn, whatever you're capable of. 20 seconds, you shouldn't get too dizzy. Ready? Oh, go whatever side you want to, whatever's natural. I'm going to down to my right. 
that's the woodchuck variation. Rotation through my core. Stop. All right. We're on the ground for move number three. Keep in with rotation. Mountain climbers rotating across the body. Across body, my right knee pulling towards my left, my left elbow. And I'll show it real quick. I'm up, rotating as far as I can. It will be a little slower, but that's okay. Get that rotation. 20 seconds. Ready? Go. Go faster all the way. Stop. And. Last move is single leg work. Done a lot of combos, so let's do one more here. Three count. I like to count out the switch, two switch switches, and then a lunge on three. So it looks like this. Now, let's put hands. One, two, one. One, two, one. One, two, one. If you're having a hard time processing that, stay low. Switch like that. I'll show the one, two, lunge. Let's do this. Move number four. Go. One, two, lunge. One, two. All the way to the end. And then we got one more round. Stop. Okay. You break your nose. You did two. That was two weeks of work. Two more minutes and you're done. Starts on speed skaters. If you simulate with me, balance on your left. We'll reach down across to the right. Come back. Three, two, one. Let's go. Power. Think about that hip you used in the Percy lunge. It's working now. Three, two, one. All right, good. Quick transition. Wood chop, hop. Three, two, one. Get in control. Five. Crossbody climber. This is a sprint the entire time. The rest of these things are sprint. Let's get ready. Set. Go. Come on, keep hustling. Stop. Half tap lunge, sprint lunge. And then we did it. Set. Go. Burn them up. Three. Two, one, and done. Thanks, everybody. That was a great workout. Fun to have such a big group on a Thursday afternoon, so I really appreciate you joining. Enjoy the rest of your Thursday, your Friday. We'll see you next week. Take care, everyone.